Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend. Can you believe it's almost two weeks till Christmas? So today, don't feel like showing my face on camera, but I am telling you that love is about to begin. And sometimes it's just not easy, right? In order to find your purpose in life, it's not the destination sometimes. It's just the journey. So the story I just received from Spirit. Thank you for joining us, my angels, fairies, and guides. Let's get started. So we have the Four of Wands. Not necessarily always does it mean, you know, the happy life, meaning the wedding is coming automatic. But in this particular card, it is wind, which is air, earth, fire, and water. Fully balanced, a united couple, two in one, spiritual growth. We have love, we have abundance, we have clarity. We have someone who is able to say how they feel, do how they feel, speak how they feel, act as if the past does no longer matter. And then we have Spirit stepping in with the Ace of Cups. Two major important cards in today's reading. Letting go of karma, going back to your one true love or a brand new soulmate, and looking forward to the Queen of Cups, right? The Queen of Cups, she knows her worth, she knows her value. She is definitely coming out of the third party situation, no longer tolerating bad behavior, and staying in somewhere where it no longer serves them. There's a lot of worry, there was a lot of illness, and there was a huge uphill battle here. But since this person has done the work, we now have a fire sign stepping in. I have Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and as the new beginning starts, it supersedes all the heartbreak and the tragedy of all the work after putting the work in dissipates. Love is definitely coming in. A brand new offer, two aces, one in love and one in divine intervention. The portal opened up at the end of October and here we are, someone shining like a diamond, someone moving forth with their purpose in life, someone completely finding their partner who is true to them and there was an abrupt ending. Someone ended something where they met you. Maybe you ended a traumatic situation when dealing with your feelings and emotions, which, sorry about that, is the cow skull. Abrupt endings. What else, Spirit, do we have here? After we now have clarity and a new beginning in love and in money, message from Spirit. So it was divinely guided that Spirit stepped in and closed out a cycle. Did you ever date somebody, and it's not necessarily ghosting, but sometimes we ask Divine to step in and speak for us or show us a sign, and sometimes Spirit does that weirdly, right? Getting clarity. You're getting clarity now that what no longer serves you no longer serves you. You have someone watching you, could be your old person, could be a past lover. But if you look at the distinction in the cards, which this deck is, deck is absolutely beautiful. It's brand new. I love this deck. Had to have it. We have endings, we have spirit, and we have clarity. So we didn't have to do the work, right? Spirit did the work for us. And now that we have the opportunity to look in fresh eyes, we're getting the knowledge and education that we need in order to move forward here, right? Reading, learning, we did the work an intense passion. Here comes the love of your life. The red ribbon symbolizes love. It's a new beginning for you. It's complete clarity, complete new beginning, a way in which we want to live. Show me, show me, show me. Whoa, okay. Holding on to your pentacles here. The four of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo coming in. Doesn't necessarily have to be the sign, but there is a Taurus coming towards a Aries or Leo or just Sagittarius. And this is wish fulfillment. So divine stepped in, listen to your guidance. And here we go. Pouring in and out. It's an equal give and take. It is balance. Seeing the difference between the wrongs and rights and making them right and making them better after they were wrong. And here comes you. Dun, dun, dun. Walking down the street with the prettiest love song. We got a king and I have a queen. Have my king and my queen. I have a queen in love coming in emotionally and a king of wands who's done the work. Spiritually aligned, physically aligned in love with themselves, in love with the spirit, in love with divine guidance, doing the work and manifesting abundance. Spirit, anything else that we have? Oh, the fool, the new journey. Can't make this shit up. So the fool now steps in. You've done the work. You've got clarity. And here we go. We've officially started a new journey in our life. <clears throat> Let's pull a Oracle and Scar deck, spirit deck. 
I'm going to knock on my card. Sorry, I don't like to pre-shuffle. I like to know that you guys can hear the cards being shuffled. Spirit, show me. Clarify the deck. Come on in, Spirit, and join the party. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. The new moon is coming up in the month of December. Two entrances into a new beginning. Almost like that glass is half full. This moon is illuminating, but waiting for the other part of this. Maybe even the better part. But the oceans are rocky. This relationship is going to take work. If this is wish fulfillment and spirit is divinely guiding you to it, then they will divinely help you get through it. That is my motto. Come on, spirit. I saw the ram card come up. <clears throat> come on, spirit. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Whoa, flying across the room. And I have, okay. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Water energy. The moon Full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. That was a little while back, less than a month or two. Expect powerful change, the new moon eclipse. Step out of your comfort zone in your new love and understanding. And a fiery climax approaches. So the full moon and energy thrusted you forward. There's a lot of um, fire energy here. Um, we have a tough cycle, a tough journey that expresses the wounded warrior back here. We have the wounded warrior, the ace of cups, new beginnings, and abundance. Educating yourself after abrupt ending and a new beginning starting. Come on, spirit. Let's clarify some information. Let's clarify in this situation with the brand new offering, the brand new love, the fiery climax, an abrupt ending. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something came in quick. You didn't see it coming in regards to love because it was divinely guided. Show me spirits and angels and my little fairies that do all the work for me. Show up in my reading. Oh, I can't make this shit up. The lovers, completely, completely exactly what you asked for. There was a lot of energy behind it, a lot of suitors. Uh, a lot of backstabbers. You weren't sure what to do. And again, clarification. The Queen of Cups has come up twice now. Two times. You are a queen. You have mastered it. You're birthing a new cycle. You're giving abundance to the earth. You've balanced out your water chakra and your earth chakra. There is a plenty of fish in here. A loyal and faithful companion. And you are doing the work. And a chariot. New beginning. Can't make that shit up. Where did I see this right here? Queen of Cups did the work. Because you've done the work, right? Because there's a birthing of a new cycle. Your ancestors are guiding you. One for them, one for here. But your person is missing from the picture. This offer's coming. See the hands and the extension here? How they're both giving. They're fully being committed to a new relationship that is divinely guided. Arms open wide. Giving clarity. Waiting on the shell. Listening for the signs to come. The fish are coming in. Could be with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, rebirthing a new cycle, possibly in the 5D giving birth with your counterpart. And this leads to the lovers and my four of cups, which is the balancing of the both of you on both sides and finding unity. Six could be a lucky number for someone or a life number, which is Aries most of the time. And chariot, there's movement. Something switched inside of you to change you to move into a new direction. This is absolutely beautiful. You did the work. Whoever is watching did the work here. Here's the final outcome. No more worrying. That's in the past. The offer to a fire sign is here. It's been taken. And again, two times, ace of pentacle, abundance, luck. And the wheel of fortune starts to turn. Can't ask for anything better than that. But I will ask our spirits, guides, and angels to go ahead and bless the reading, clear and cleanse the deck. Wish you all the best of luck in life this weekend. Hopefully you'll understand that doing the work brings in exactly what you deserve and what you need in your life. It's not about you want, it's about what you need. Spirit and God knows that, and whoever you believe in, shine like a diamond, and your abundance will be manifested. Write it down so it comes into fruition. I'm going to hit the chime, count to three. It's your time. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for watching my channel. I love all of you with all my heart, and here it comes. Here it comes, walking down the street. It's the prettiest love song that you ever meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Check up your monkey. He's your sign today. If you see monkeys, signs, shows, father, son, and the blessing. Have a great day.
Outdoor Healing 1111.